Hey Paleans, this is Dida. I am super excited to have you back on my channel for more amazing and awesome gaming tips. Today we're talking about the Temple of Gales, which was added in the recent Paleo update. This temple has a lot to offer, yet this video will be dedicated to reveal all the 16 silver wing eggs locations. Stay tuned as I'll walk you through each one step by step. First things first, make sure you finish the Echo of the Unknown quest. Check your mailbox to see letters from Clary and Eloisa. This is important. You need to read these letters to unlock the Temple of Gates. Talk to them both. Then find Zaki, where he spills the beans about Eshe finding a flow battery, which is the key to this temple. When you do, Zaki will take you to a party at the mayor's house, where you distract Eshe while he gets the battery. Or you can ask an NPC to do that for you. After the party, meet Zaki at the temple entrance in Bahari Bay. You can chat with Louisa and Claria, they will give you a quest inside. Zaki needs your help to unlock the gate. Interact with it and a portal will appear. Step through the room with eggs and a puzzle. For the puzzle, you can ask them about hints. If you're stuck, don't worry, I'm here to help. Arrange the eggs colors as you see in this photo and you're good to go. Next, the door will open. Go through the door, climb the wind and find the big nest. Activate the flowstone gate, then talk to Zaki and the others. And now, Get ready with me for an awesome egg hunt where we will find 16 eggs in order to make it easy for players to finish the quest. I know all videos on YouTube will tell you that there are 15 eggs. I found 16, which I will show you each and every location of these eggs step by step. First egg is right in front of you on the left side of the nest. Then turn left to reach this area with a portal to activate. Another egg is on the cliff here. Then go onward towards these stairs. Go all the way down. Then glide through this circle stone. Keep gliding all the way until you reach this floating area. These two windy areas will take you down. So you'll need to avoid them to reach the next step. Keep going forward until you reach an island, which I like to call the Water Island. On your left, you'll find another egg. Jump and glide to this area. Go forward to reach the top, where you'll find an egg under the stone arc. To go back to the island, it's easy to jump down. It will take you back to the water island. Now go down here and on your right, you'll find an egg under this broken bridge. Collect it and go back where the flow portal of this water island is. Jump and climb here to reach up. On your right, get to the green cliff where you can view a green floating area with a single heartwood tree on it. And here is another egg. Go back to the island and jump to this area again. Go all the way up, then turn left and go through this gate. Here you reach an area with water and another gate. Go to the left side of the stairs where there is another egg. Get back to the main island. Now we'll explore the island and the other side. Through the portal area, get on top and climb to the bridge. Go forward and you'll find another egg. This one is absolutely sneaky. Then you can jump to this fan that takes you up and glide to the left to this floating small island with a big orange juniper tree. Another egg is there to collect. Now go back to the windy fan Glide up twice where you'll find another egg. Go forward all the way to this area. Reach these pillars one by one until you find these ladders that you can climb. On the left edge, 
here is another egg. Walk this area and glide to this broken bridge. Get up with the help of the wind until you reach this area that has an ancient flow bug, which Eloisa will ask you to catch six of them during the egg quest. Look down on the edge and here is the most hidden egg I found. I know this one is absolutely tricky. Glide back to the broken bridge. Go right until you see a long ladder near another portal. Climb it up. Try not to jump to avoid falling halfway up. On the left, you'll find another egg. Keep climbing. And on the left, there is this floating area with a flow bug on it. From it, you can jump to another one. And here is another egg to collect. Go back to the same long ladder. Now it's time to glide to the top with the cycled windy area, which you can reach from this small ladder. Jump and glide without pressing forward. The wind will take you onward on its own. Keep going until you find a floating area with another egg. For the final egg, get back to where we found the second egg near a portal on the main island. Climb all the way up. If you've fallen halfway through, you can still climb the hills. On top, you'll find the square area with a door and a stairs. On your right, there is a broken stone pillar with the final egg on its edge. And there you have it, 16 silver wing eggs. Oh my god, this quest was super fun. A side note, any egg that looks like this is non-collectible. Put in the nest 10 eggs and talk to Zaki to receive a quest to explore the last and final island, which has more to offer. I'll be making a separated video for that quest. And as a bonus hit, I'll let you know where to find the source of food requested by Clary, which you'll be able to fish in four pools and catch four cloud minnow fish. Please note that to do so, you must not use a bait. Here are the four pool locations, which you can easily find on the water island. They're all easy to find and obvious to see. Thanks for joining me on this epic journey. I hope this guide helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This video took a lot of time to make. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, see you later.